All right, so we're gonna install this Frigidaire AC. It's a 5,000 BTU, um, made for 150 square feet. Here's your model number down here if you wanna catch that. So here's the unit. Um, pretty straightforward. So I wanna install it under the bed. Here's our, our bed, it's raised now. I'm looking at the floor, kinda of built this frame for it to sit on. Uh, what I did is I found a plastic tray that would fit underneath the AC and catch any condensate that happens to drip, even though it says right in the instructions here, you want your quarter to half inch angle but it says after proper installation, condensate should not drain from the overflow drain hole during normal use. So, I, you know, just in case it does, I found this plastic tray. It's perfect dimensions. I kind of made a frame for it so that I could grab it. It pulls out if I need to clean it out or anything. And if we do get a heavy amount of condensate, then I'll, I might put, actually drill a hole and make a drain hole for it to drain through the floor of the trailer. So what I'm doing now is getting this framed up for some foam to make some ducting. So there's the original hole. Um, I guess it would be a cargo hole that was there before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have fresh air come in on this side, hot air exit on that side. I'm going to make a duct that kind of wraps around here, comes to here for the hot air coming out. And I'll set the unit and you can see what it looks like. Here's the unit sitting in the framing right now. So to get the, the quarter to half inch tilt back, I just basically put a 3 8 plywood shim in here. And now it's tilting back towards the rear of the trailer. And you can still get the drain pan, my uh, homemade drain pan out here if you need to. And I'm gonna finish framing this thing up and get some uh, ducting going on. Made a little bit of progress here, so what I did is I, t I took a piece of this, uh, I think this is a five millimeter plywood you can get at the home improvement store, and I used it to kind of make a curve, curved duct, so that the exhaust air, when it's coming out, won't just hit a 90 degree turn and then have to exit. It'll hopefully give a little bit more efficiency going through a curve like that and go out. So I'll put insulation along this. I'll insulate uh, in here, all along here. Anywhere there's hot air, I'll put a piece of insulation and of course on the top um, just to uh, keep the hot air from going back into the trailer and just direct it right outside the fresh air. Uh, I might put a little insulation in, in there too just I guess to make it look nice maybe and so that it won't suck up any cabin air accidentally and um, take it out, back out. So I'll probably put some more insulation in here. So let me get some more materials going on in there. And it's coming along. Got it, uh, everything painted up. And got some foam put in here. So you can see what I did is I got that plywood on the back still. And then I laid in some of this, uh, this is some one inch that actually bends pretty good. The inch and a half couldn't bend like that. I had some three quarter too, but I just used the one inch that came in there. Uh, taped everything up. A piece of the foam on this side too. And I'm gonna drop the AC in to the hole and figure out what I'm gonna do here to divide the hot side from the cold side. And I'll go from there. Got most of the foam done now. I just left the top off to kind of show what we got going on here. So, on the intake side, this is my wheel well right here. So, kind of made it challenging, but the air is going to come in here. It's going to kind of take this odd path, but um, it'll go into the intake on the side here. It's got this hole here. Air can come in, come over the top, come in through these fins, and it's also open here on the side where it can go down and get in through these fins. So 
So your intake is gonna happen in here, suck into the machine, come out on the hot side. Here. Um, hopefully hit this curve to make it a little more efficient to head out the door there. And I will put a, a screen on the outside, a cleanable screen. It's like a window screen. But uh, so it's you know not the most efficient because it's it's got some restrictions there on the intake and on the exhaust. But I really didn't want to put it in the window, and uh, this way it's hidden. And I just open that little compartment door, crank her on, and she should do pretty good. So I'm gonna make a cover, uh, foam cover here, foam cover here, and of course a cover here, and that should do it. Um, if you're wondering why I paint the wood, it's just my opinion, but I think the you'd have a little more, more mold resistance uh, with the wood painted versus just bare wood. But that's arguable. I mean, I've seen painted wood mold too, so it's up to you. I decided to put a couple of these little galvanized brackets here to help support the foam in a couple places. There's one there, one there, one here. Just had them laying around, whatever. Um, so this is the last piece of foam. This is what it's looking like so far. Here's the last piece, let's see. Very nice, very nice. Okay. So I'll uh, get that all taped in on the perimeter and finish it up. All right. So this is as far as I'm going to get on it right now because I'm not going to do any of the face boards or the paneling. But that's what it looks like. So I'll end up putting um, running power right down through here. Maybe put a plug here and I'll plug the AC into there. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. Turned out pretty good though. I think it'll work just fine. You know, definitely gonna lose some of the efficiency the way it's mounted, but this is also a tiny space. So I think we'll be alright.